made it to Rochester naked. Can't even lie to you. I don't know how many hours we've been traveling, but it's a good 12 hours. And taking shoes off, iPads out, search the saxophones, all that stuff. But really good. We went through JFK. Um, we're here now. We got met by the festival. We've got an itinerary. We have the Rochester Jazz Festival book. Yours truly on the front. Here we go. So it's official. We're here. We're doing it. So tomorrow we will do two shows and we'll do a workshop on Sunday. <laughs> Given that you never took me to Jamaica, I'm all right. We saved some sun for you. You know what I mean? Still here. So it is performance day for the Rochester Jazz Festival. We're about to do an interview on Jazz 90.1, a radio station here in Rochester. Um, so first time I get to speak about the uh, DVD CD as well and to speak about the performance tonight. So really excited. We're in an old English pub, um, which is old English. <laughs> I don't know if we have pubs like this anymore, but you can uh, have a look around. And um, yeah, it feels a bit like home. We've seen a tube map, so at least, you know, I know where I'm going and uh, we're ready. So enjoy the interview. <laughs> Doing an interview for the Made in the UK series with Yolanda Brown. Yolanda, welcome to the States and welcome to Rochester. Thank you very, very much. It's exciting to be here. Performing two shows tonight at 6.45 and 8.30 at Christ Church. Yes. And talk about how you discovered jazz and uh, how you got the call and why you stayed with it. Goodness, all right, so we have to go back. Let's go back. <laughs> um, I think for me, music was always something quite therapeutic. I never thought of music as a genre or what it would mean to play music. It was always something that I used to do for me. Um, I played the piano, the drums, the violin from a very early age. I started with the piano at age six. And it wasn't until age 13 that I picked up the saxophone. I just had, a, I wanted to play the oboe. Um, <laughs> and there was no access to an oboe, so um, someone gave me a tenor sax. Um, and I was quite tall for my age, believe it or not now. Um, and it just felt like a natural instrument to play. I, I didn't have any lessons. I used to play for myself in my room and literally play my emotions, whatever, whatever worked. Yolanda Brown here on Jazz 90.1, so that's it, Yolanda. Give us a, a sense of your show, what's mm -hmm. you is you do traditional jazz, you do contemporary jazz. Yes. You really, it's beyond, it's music beyond category. You don't categorize it, you say, yeah. here's, here's who I am, here's what I do. Exactly that. Um, I think it, it's a show for everybody. It's a show for somebody that's never been to a live um, show before, or a live concert before, someone that's never experienced jazz before, up to someone that's been listening to jazz for years. Um, and I find that, especially when I'm meeting people after the shows and signing CDs after the shows, you get sort of the jazz connoisseur, the, the man that has been growing up listening to this and has records for days, but he's also been able to have a fantastic night with his wife, who <laughs> never really understood jazz, but now she can get into it. And they both have had a fantastic evening. Um, over to the young musician, uh, somebody that's just finding their instrument and finding um, about genres of music from six years old upwards who have come into shows. Um, and I, for me, that really touches my heart. I love that it's for everybody. Rhonda, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Have a great show. Thank you very, very much. <laughs> yep, finished the radio interview and now to sound check. So, uh, all good, still on time. So, that's all right. Uh, yeah, looking forward to getting on the stage. I've been talking about it a lot. Just want to do it. Nice to see you. Should be a good day in Rochester. I am the sound engineer. So at this point, we're just going to try and figure out what everybody needs. <laughs> Once we determine that, then we'll move forward. But, uh, but yeah. I know. It's a bit excessive. Twin reverb in the house. That's what I'm talking about. What's going on? Just setting up the kit. Just getting ready for the show. It's time. Yeah, lovely. Be good acoustics. Be nice. Ooh. 
How are you? I'm good, thanks. How are you? Hey, wonderful, wonderful. Good to see nice you. to meet you. Thanks for having me. Definitely. <laughs> so you brought the wonderful soup? Yes, mm. of course. We'd be lost <laughs> without it. <laughs> So we're going to meet the uh, local TV crew. Oh, I can see the vans look like in the films. You know when that dinosaurs or aliens come out of the sewers? Look at it, look at it. Look. This guy's going to sell fantastic ice creams. Yes, yes. When you're on stage, let them know them. Yes, yeah. I will do. Thank you, ice cream <laughs> treats. <laughs> Hello. This is your land off. <laughs> Wait, did, 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 okay. I'm Amanda. I'm, I'm with the festival, and this is Alexis. Hi, Hi. Alexis. Nice so to nice to meet nice you. To see you. <laughs> Welcome to Rochester. Hi, Alexis. Thanks for having us. No problem. Thank, Thank you for taking the time to no, talk to no. us. So we are going to be live. Really? They give it at the top of the show, which starts at six, and they're going to give us about two and a half minutes. introduced you to a special guest who's joining us, Yolanda Brown, saxophonist. She's part of the Made in the UK series, actually about to perform in about 45 minutes here at Christ Church, and welcome. Thank you very much. It's so exciting to be here. I love it. And you, and this is your first time in Rochester. This is my first time, definitely not the last. I'm trying to look for a house, there, but uh, I really love it here. It's lovely. She sold, everyone. <laughs> I admire all that you've accomplished so far, but what is your dream gig? Oh man, well, I've accomplished some along the way. I've come to the Russian president, I've been to Buckingham Palace, to 10 Downing Street, so definitely the White House to perform for Michelle Miller would be the dream. The dream. <laughs> well, hopefully we, we help you on your journey, and I'm sure you'll be there in no time. Yolanda Brown, thank you so much for joining us today. We look forward to your performance. Thank you so much. Thank you everyone for the welcome. Uh, we've right, just right. been live on TV and it was exciting, really good. I know they've inserted us into the news, so that was really cool. And um, yeah, got to get in there, get ready. It's getting hot, feels like we're in Jamaica. Really excited, should be good. See ya. Hi. How are you? Doing? Hi, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. Yeah. Oh, it's great. <laughs> it's right around the corner. Is it? Yeah. I've got time. <laughs> See you later. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. See you later. Okay. Hello. Hello. Hey, how are you? Good. Oh, thank you. Enjoy the show. Okay. <laughs> it's up to you. Yes, I know. I'm going to get in there. <laughs> Good to see you. <laughs> See you in there. Okay. Thank you for coming. Oh, thank you for having me. Thank you very much. Exciting. Close to you. Oh, thank you so much, sir. I really appreciate that. Really appreciate that. <laughs> Good to see you. See you in there. Enjoy your stay. I will do. It's lovely here. Very nice. <laughs> see you.
Good day to you all. How's everybody doing? This <laughs> have been coming to the festival for the past few years. I would recommend it to all friends and family. Fantastic. Well, it was excellent. I never even heard of her before. I googled her site and I thought it was good so I came to the concert. But I tell you, I think she should sing. She has a beautiful voice. Very sexy. The way she plays that sax, her tone is, is beautiful and how she moves. She dances and goes in the crowd. She's terrific. Fantastic. Oh, absolutely. I'll be seeing her again too. <laughs> but sing, tell her to sing. I thought she was absolutely amazing, absolutely amazing, and I'm not going to leave here without her CD. Excellent, very good. Enjoyed it a lot. She, I, I, I liked all of it. I, I liked it when she walked around the audience. That was really neat. Yeah. Found the show quite wonderful, uh, more than actually I expected. Uh, I enjoyed her her music, her her uh, her sound. Now it makes me curious about England, though. <laughs> and the background from which she comes from uh, doing the kind of music that she does. But I, I enjoyed it immensely, which is why I bought the new project, the double CD DVD. So thank you very much. This has been our first headline gig in the USA. And we really, really, really enjoyed it. <laughs> and we really, really want to come back again if you'll have us. <laughs> yeah, man, that was good, really good, hyped, and um, really nice audience, and they gave us a standing ovation, which is crazy. Some of those are CDs and met loads of people. Um, yeah, so we're just getting ready for the second gig now. 25 minutes, gotta get ready. But go and check out Q, it's crazy. We're gonna have a good time. We're gonna have a really good time. <sighs> Stay focused. How are we all doing this evening?
show was fantastic. Yolanda Brown blew my mind. Never heard of her before. Read her little uh, blurb in our Jazz Fest International pamphlet and seemed like something I'd want to check out. She was amazing on the brass and it was a really, really good show. Uh, my favorite part was when they were dropping in the reggae beats from the islands. I would totally recommend it to friends and family, even people I didn't know. Oh, I thought it was fantastic. It was uh, probably the best concert. I, I've been going for four years. It was as good as anyone I've ever seen. Summertime, I think, was because it's a, an old classic, and she did it as well as I've ever heard it played. Oh, definitely, definitely. Anybody who's watching this, come on and see her anytime you get a chance. super early <laughs> on a very hot day. Maybe they decided to come to this room because this is the only room with air conditioning. <laughs> um, with no further ado, Yolanda Brown and her band. We're going to be a very simple state, and after that we're going to perform to all the other people that haven't got instruments here. And the essence is not about what notes you play, what rhythms you play, although we are looking at that, but it's about the performance. What can you give? Are they going to be smiling after you perform? Are they going to be moving along with you? Okay? So the thing is about performance and it's about giving. It was, um, she did a very good job with how she taught things and it was really, it felt very free. What I took away was that um, improvisation can be uh, about how you're feeling and you, sh and you know, you shouldn't be afraid to just let yourself go and just play what you want to play. 
when you're improvising. Oh, fantastic. It's absolutely life-giving and brilliant. My 12-year-old had brought his trumpet, my 10-year-old plays piano, and my 8-year-old uh, plays early violin. I think the whole notion of improvisation, improv improvising off a common scale, talking back and forth on the music, it's just wonderful. It was, it was very helpful and informative. I mean, it increased my understanding of the basic rhythmic structure of music and, you know, just how to loosen up in the form. Really, you know, feel out the chords, really get the feeling for just playing in one chord solidly. It's, it's helpful to do things like this. Uh, I thought it was just a wonderful experience all the way through. She just had incredible energy, connect, connection with the kids, and music ability all wrapped into one. It was just phenomenal. Um, I think that, and I learned a lot from this, and future, learning from a lot of songs, and just learning how to dynamics and things like that. Oh, I liked it. I liked it a lot. She was fantastic. She brings such incredible energy and uh, she really got the guys it going. Great. It was great. We're in Times Square and um, now I'm actually on a little bit of a chill thrill right now because um, I'm going to just absorb, absorb music, we're going to go to different music venues, we're going to network and I've um, got my saxes here but you know I'm, I'm looking to do my research, to chill out, to enjoy and meet people too, meet Americans for the first time and see their take on my music. Um, there's so many times that I'm traveling the world, be it Spain, be it France, be it England, be it Russia, be it Mexico, and every single place I go to they say they will love you in America, and yet we hadn't done a headline gig in America. This is our first headline gig, and the feedback is fantastic. I'm just whew, relieved, I think as well. Relieved, happy, glad, what more. Now, New York, okay, we were leaving Rochester, and sadly, the plane was delayed. We've had perfect touring facilities on the planes. We've been on six planes, perfect, until we were leaving Rochester. And for the band, unfortunately, their plane was late, uh, which meant that they had to spend the night here in New York with me, which is great. So, Times Square was the order of the night. They all had a great time. Now they're finally gonna catch their plane today, which leaves me on my own in New York. And the first thing that I came across when I came here this morning, just free tickets to the David Letterman show. You know, I'm on this, right? So tonight, well now, I'm gonna get something to eat. I'm gonna go and watch the David Letterman show. I'm enjoying it, guys. Thank you so much for sharing the journey with me. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for keeping posted all of your tweets and messages on Facebook of support as I was tweeting along the road and along the way. Um, I really, really appreciate you tapping in and keeping in touch. And hopefully we can do this a bit more. I really like keeping people updated with what's going on. You never really get to see this side of it. So, um, someone got married in Times Square. <laughs> so, um, yeah, thank you for keeping updated. Keep in touch on my website, yolandabrown.co.uk. I've been saying yolandabrown.com since I've been here. It still works. Um, you can use both. Tweet me, Facebook me. I'll see you all very, very soon. I'm coming back in about a week's time, so leave me out here, okay? Leave me here. Time's good. I love it. Bye.